So another very famous application of the classic FET compressor is on drum groups and especially drum room mics. The reason so many people like it on drum room mics is because it makes them sound so much more exciting and explosive and it, and it gives the overall drum kit more depth and bigness. So first we're going to take a listen to a mono drum room mic without any compression. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to put the compressor on. We're going to start with the attack slowest. The release is the fastest. We have circuit one, but in a second, we're actually going to compare circuit one and two. But first, let's start off with circuit one. I'll start increasing the input, and let's get these room mics to start exploding. So you can already hear that trademark kind of explosive sound. But now let's do a comparison between circuit one and circuit two. So let's just remind you that circuit one is going to have that more mid forward, mid range articulation. But circuit two was a refurbished unit and I loved the low end. This thing had a, you know, a smoother mid range than the compressor from circuit one, but it had this really awesome low end. So let's take a listen. In fact, let's start off on one, then I'll switch it to two for you to hear the difference. I love that big bloomy low end on circuit two. It really fits this room mic nicely. So now just, you know, before I move on to the high pass, because we're going to get to that in a second, I want to show you what happens when we do attenuate or decrease this release a bit. Watch how much more mellow it immediately gets. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it doesn't take much. As soon as you start to slow this release down, that really awesome aggressive behavior just kind of goes away. And that could be cool for some things, don't get me wrong. But for this room mic, we want it fast. Here we go again. Let's do a comparison on roughly the same settings of the vintage versus modern. Wait till you hear the unique tones you can get. 